It's a new day in Mexico and today is the battle of the V12 to be specific the Germans V12 so if you know there's a BMW in Forza Horizon 5 which has a V12 engine from the 90s and there's a V12 AMG from Mercedes from the 2000s I know it's not a great comparison but today I'm gonna be comparing those V12 cars okay to be to make it fair because the other car is more powerful than the other car and the other car is also than the other one so okay you'll see what i will do to make it fair so yeah this is the sl amg black series from 2009 it has a v12 engine 6 liter v12 engine which has 661 horsepower and 1001 newton meters of torque and it weighs 1.9 tons if you know amg then you know is the powerful division of mercedes-benz which made this type of car more powerful cars sports cars and supercars if you can classify them as supercars and there is this other trim called black series so this one is the black series so there are other black series the other black series <laughs> from mercedes-benz namely the mercedes-benz slk amg the slk 55 black series okay that's the ugliest one of them all and the clk 63 amg black series and an amg sl 65 which is this car which i'm driving right now and there's an SLS, sls black series in for the horizon 5 we have the regular sls not the black series one and the last one is the amg gt black series from 2021 that's the latest black series from 2021 so yeah and mercedes-benz took and took a convertible and turned it into this thing the sl65 and 350 of them were made like 350 i think for the whole world yeah i think for the whole world 350 just imagine one of the rarest mercedes-benz out there and here's the bmw v12 so this is the h50 cs from 1995 see it has half the horsepower of the black series it has 372 horsepower and 546 newton meter of torque okay they weigh the same but this engine is more big. i think it's bigger oh it's a uh, okay i don't think it's bigger than this has a 5.6 liter v12 engine so the csi the, the cs was offered with two different engines the first one used the 4 liter v8 engine having a power output of 180 six horsepower and was produced in the mid 1993s to the late 1995 so fun fact about this car is that it's v v12 engine it's unlike the black series like the black series is a v12 engine like like a normal v12 but this v12 engine the way it was made it is like two straight sixes mounted together like they work individually like everything every like the other side has its full pumps separate full pump like two fuel pumps so if the other half of the engine if something happened to it and it stopped working the other six cylinders will still be working in the Individually without the other one so it's a v12 but two straight six engines mounted together yo that's crazy i've never heard of something like that and this car shares its engine with the mclaren f1 so that's what i was saying when i said i wanted to make it fair because the uh, the black series has 660 his horsepower and this car has half of that horsepower so i was thinking to engine swap this bmw with the mclaren f1 engine if it's available for this car the engine swap if it's available i'm gonna engine swap it so it will make it fair yes we'll see about the horsepower if the horsepower is a little bit more than the other car then i'll upgrade the black series to reach the peak of this horsepower uh, with the horsepower of this car so it will be fair the first comparison of this cars gonna be a sound comparison which v12 sounds better which v12 sounds better let's check it out Ooh, that sounds good doesn't sound like a v12 or maybe i can say it sounds like an old v12 that sounds good 
But I don't think it can beat the Black Series. Okay, let's hear what the Black Series sounds like. Yes, the AMG V12. That sounds like a V8 engine. That, it doesn't sound like a V12. I think the BMW sounds better than this car. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments because you might think I'm biased, but I don't think it sounds better than the BMW. Yeah, it doesn't sound like the BMW. Nah, it doesn't scream. I would say it sounds more like a V8 engine than a V12. Yeah. The next comparison on the list is the looks of the car. I mean, um, look at this car. No way. This already wore like by miles. Okay, I guess the looks challenge is not fair because this is a more dated car than the 850 CSI. Yeah, this one one. Okay, let me show the BMW to show you that I'm not biased. Look at this car. It has even a white body. Look at that. I know you can customize the BMW with the white body in Forza Horizon 5, but that's only in the game. You cannot get that body kit in real life so hmm, i think this one won but let me show the bmw so that i don't look like i'm favoring the sl you know i like the bmw more it's more interesting to me than the sl but if i had to choose obvious i would choose the sl it's a better looking car it's a faster car but there's, there's something about this bmw look at that it even has pop-up headlights straight from the 90s okay this car is not the best looking in the front but the rest of the car i've never seen a bmw like this one first time seeing a bmw like like this even the new generations of m8s or 8 series they don't what's happening so i can't open the doors and everything what's happening the door is un it's open but not opened what the hell is that <laughs> it's a glitch okay the interior is not as bad as i thought hmm, why do they need to write airbag <laughs> big letter did you see that i just entered the car with, with the door closed what's happening what's happening look at that everything is open but still closed what the hell it's a glitch look i can get in the car but the doors are closed what the hell is <laughs> okay so it's one one the bmw sounds better and the sl65 looks better than the bmw so i'm gonna give it that and our third challenge is which car has more customizations in forza horizon 5 let's check out the bmw okay the body kit i don't think i want to include that because it's a forza thing not a bmw thing okay, let's go to visual customization Ooh, look at that a bmw string front bumper and racing dynamics the only thing that changes what am i tweaking okay i see the change but it's minimalistic but this one mm, looks better it should have came with this bumper not this stock bumper look at this this one looks better than the other one carrier okay, wing okay from racing dynamics okay that's a cool rear wing what about the rear bumper okay again with the bumpers <laughs> looks like the stock bumper okay the stock bumper has has big tips <laughs> Whoa. when i exchange the rear bumper to the bmw it gives me mm, i think i'm gonna okay it looks cool why are the exhausts getting smaller i want them to be big okay let's just take and the hood it gives us a vent what else changes on the hood okay only that thing changes does it matter though okay i think it matters for handling and it removes 3 kg of weight and the side skirt okay you can put the bmw side skirts okay that's better Whew. that's a lot of customers 
the issue let me continue to customize this car i want to give it 19 inch wheel because it looks better Ooh, that changes everything <laughs> look at that okay this car is starting to catch up with the looks of the other car that actually looks good okay let me put on let me check out the engine swap because i wanted to put a f1 mclaren f1 Ooh, i think this is and the horsepower becomes it becomes close to to the black series so this is the engine i wanted to swap it to Ooh, it even sounds better okay let me put on that engine and we'll leave it at that naturally aspirated engine now let's check the visual customization of the s l65 um i don't think this car has customizations in forza horizon 5 mind you i've never i haven't checked yet just like the bmw i didn't think it has the visual curve okay that that's a bad okay the only the forza arrow and the forza wing okay no customization hmm. so it was one one it was the look and the sound the bmw and the sound and the 65 one with the look and now visual customization is the bmw w so it's two one two to the mercedes one to the mercedes and two to the bmw hmm. so now i'm gonna take them to a quarter mile drag race to see which one is faster in the drag race so the sl back series has more horsepower and there's more torque hmm. the way they say the, the way they say but i think the sl will win okay maybe it won't okay it will win i think it will win because this car i think it's more aerodynamic than the but if i look at the shape of these the both of these cars they look like they have the same amount of drag coefficient or something and the 850 csi was one of the bmw which has the lowest drag coefficient so maybe it will win i don't know about this car's drag coefficient so let's see if it can win the rear wing must stay down because mm -mm. oh we had a good launch with the launch control and the wing is coming up oh that will cost uh this is the 10 second car 11.7 that was 11 11.7 second 11.7 second that's not bad that's actually a good time these cars are old so i didn't think they would they could reach the 10 second mark okay now with the bmw Let's see if it can do better than the SL65. Whew, I think the SL might win this one. It is the better car after all. Okay, not the better. Okay, it is. If we are being realistic. Oh, here's our 850 CSI. It has 627 horsepower and 651 horsepower. Oh, I think this car looks better with the rear wing and the 19 inch wheels and the new bumper. Look at that. Whew. I think I might change my mind with the SL65. Whew. And the new sound check. Ooh, that's a V. That's a V12. Ooh, it sounds better even now. Ooh, it sounds like an F1 car. Learn F1? Maybe? Oh man, it sounds even better. Let's see if it can beat the SL65 in a drag race with its new engine. So it's an A class, this is a B class car. Whew. Okay, oh, this car looks badass. Okay, okay, now I get it. Hmm, okay. All you have to do is customize the car and it will look much more better than it's stock from who i think if it was made around 2006 just like the black series maybe it would have been like this bone stock without any upgrades without any visual customization okay let's start the race oh man i love the sound of this car Ooh. this is the sound we should be coming out of this car okay it's slow Whew, 13 three seconds that is slow 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 Hoo -wee. so now they have tied up with two two so it's two for the mercedes and two for the bmw so the final challenge you know already it's gonna be going to the track we're gonna settle this once and for all in the track and see which car is better so maybe the bmw has a chance to win because last time when i was racing the remag nevera versus the Titan, the Titan lost 
No, the Taken won the drag race, but when we took it to the track, the Rimac Nevera dominated. So let's take this BMW to the track and let's see if it's faster around the track than in the drag strip. Here we go around the track. Let's see which car is the best. Go, 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 go. Okay, it doesn't have a great launch, but let's see if it will pick up its speed and be more faster. No, 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 no. Okay, it's drifting around the corners. That's not good. That's not good at all. That's not good at all. That's not good. Okay, please. Okay, I'll... If I kick it more around the corners, it will slide. I need to take it easy around the corners because the moment I put on more throttle around the corner, Oh, that was more sliding. Nah, I think this guy's gonna be. I don't think this guy's gonna win. I don't blame it though. It is a 90s car after all. Did they even have traction control back then? <laughs> okay, I know they had traction control. I'm just kidding. Oh, maybe they didn't have traction control. Who knows? I don't know. Oh, yes. That's what I was supposed to do. Kind of like that. Okay. The time is 1 minute 25 seconds point 3. Hmm. 25 point 3. Okay, now let's see how the Mercedes-Benz does. I already feel this car was slow. <laughs> okay, that's that. It was sliding around the corners. Hmm. It's an old car. Oh, maybe it's the tires. The tire compound on this car. It has no grip around the corners, especially coming out of the corners. Hmm. Okay. Let's see the SL65. Santa! We will know in the first corner whether the BMO, BMW or the Mercedes-Benz won. Because if this car doesn't slide around the first corner, that will tell us that it won't slide in the other corners. So, uh, yeah, that's that. Oh, yeah, that's that. But I think this car has more downforce than the other car and that is needed around the corners. But they're both rear wheel drive cars. They might both snap when you get out of the corner. If you hit on the throttle, it might snap and spin. But oh, we'll see if that's what will happen. Ooh, launch control again. Let's see around the first corner. Okay, you saw that. It didn't slide like the BMW. So I think it already won. All you have to do is beat 1 minute 13 seconds. 13 seconds. Okay, it's sliding a little bit. 13 seconds. It, it's what we must beat right now. Go, go, go. Oh, these cars are not very fast. They are not fast, they are a bit slow, but they are drivable around the track. Oh, don't slide like that. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ooh, the second last corner. Oh, you can brake late with this car. The BMW couldn't brake late. It wanted you to brake early. I think this brakes here are more efficient than the BMW. Ooh, no way! Okay, it won. It won. 16. 1 minute 16 seconds. Whew. The BMW got 1 minute 25 seconds. Okay, the BMW is the better. No, no. I mean the Mercedes-Benz is the better car.
Okay, okay. It's not me, it's Forza. Forza Signs. The Mercedes V12, the AMG V12 is the best V12 amongst the two. So yeah, it even has more horsepower. It might be the best V12, but the BMW is the best sounding V12. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with the sound of this car. Yeah!